Only people holding a valid pilot's license may enter. I would try that. Thank you so much for the advice, Maurice. Oh, I'm here to help, Taylor. Gardening with Maurice, only on WCTR. There's a war going on in the streets. It's the War on Thirst. Splunk is winning the War on Thirst with the new grenade-shaped cane. Hey, yo, pull the pin and blow your thirst right off in that brand new taste explosion. Whoa! Now that's the sound of refreshing. Splunk, go AWOL from the Cola Wars with an energizing mix of lemon, lime, tin, time for caffeine and sugar. Plus, arguably and benzene for that extra pop. Yo, it'll bring the temperature right up and the bubbles. Other beverages use carbon dioxide. We use ether to kick up that phase. Thanks to all that mercury, you won't remember anything that tasted so good. Now pick up a Splunk Thermal Nuclear Six Pack. Kill thirst and liven up the party. Toss your friends a Splunk in the grenade shaped can and enter the Splunk Sweepstakes where you can win a real case of grenades. Splunk. Blow your thirst right off in that brand new taste explosion. If you're into exploring exotic places and forbidden fruit, stay tuned. It's the Wild Traveler. Next. I mean, I got war, famine, depression, and pollution right here on my doorstep. And parents, don't let kids go a rail after college. They'll come back with ludicrous misconceptions about healthcare, charity, and civilization. Europe is not the real world. This is... Well, I love to slum about in a very new Boston with communal showers as much as the next man. Sometimes more. But I have to agree, Europe is overrated. Eastern Europe was good for a few years after the wall came down, but even there, the police are too strict. You just can't let your hair down. There are far more unexplored pleasures to be had in the Far East. Next caller... Right, they're all coming here to set up crime families and run numbers. South America, everyone went extinct there. They have less culture there than the contents of my toilet bowl. 
rainforest, schmain forest. In Mexico, if I wanted to be that close to my ancient ancestors, I'd be banging my mother-in-law instead of my wife's best friend. Look, we can fight like beasts or agree to disagree. I'm sure the summit of your aspirations in life is a cheerleader with fake guns, but some of us think a little more exotically than this. Next caller, vamos, buenos dias and noches. If you don't smile, I won't deep. Harder! Only people holding a valid pilot's license may enter. Airport in the Philippines. You rock! And no doubt, I love Manila. A great time. But that show you did last week? What was the name of that spiritual center in Bangkok? The wild. Just give up! Suspect. Man. Yes, we all love to travel. You really get away from me Get away from the people with computers and their databases. The police harassing you for doing nothing. Life is great! Stop ruining it! Next caller. Hey, uh, the FBI wants to talk to me about a perfectly... I was teaching him how to swim. I am not experienced. I want you to stop for a moment and let me read from my travel journal. I think everyone should keep a journal, paste pictures, notes. Sometimes people object to taking their picture. Few pennies of their local currency, and they will soar. Some people think this is patronizing, but I think it is fair enough. They need the money, and I need the company. Besides which, it is the oldest profession. What? Oh, time for me to head south again. I'm James Batista, and this has been a wild travel. This is WCTR, committed to bringing you shows like The Wild Traveler, the show that takes you around the world and abandons you at the airport. Opinions are free, which is why we're here. It's news and talk that our sponsors agree on. WCTR. Up next on WCTR, it's the man coaches hate. It's Derek Thackeray in the tight end zone. Brought to you by Harris Pump Up Shoes. Because women love a winner, and winners wear shoes.
gear, I'm telling you, they're going to need to score some points and get some yardage and win the game. Yeah, if they don't win, men will be beating their wives with good reason. Hey, they got to start playing to win, trying to score some on the other team. I wish I had a wife so she could beat me. <laughs> Here's what I say, man. If you want to be number one, you got to go for first place. I know, I know. Hey, I mean, uh, you know, it's great stating the obvious, but once you get paid for it, things get really complicated. Oh, man, I was at their train. body, serious faces on them, and you can tell that they were going to play this game. Bottom line is, if they don't score more points than the other team, they can't win! Yeah, man. God, you have some spooky insights into sports, dude. I love your show, man. I, I love you. <coughs> uh, yeah, uh, great talking to you. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Hey, that's really perceptive stuff. You know, we've been petitioning stuff. that say support the team. Don't leave the game pee at your seat. Going to... I was in love hit thing, so I've gotten in the box. How about that fight between Gonzalez and Jack? Well, there's one thing about boxing I always remember. You know, one man wins, the other goes home and loser. Because in boxing, unlike most sports, gravity works downward. You gotta be shitting me! Hey, Derek Thackeray, don't shit on no one! But, uh, I do like to piss on my seat. Is it? Of course not. Hey, how could anything professional be fake? <laughs> hey, there's too much money at stake for one thing. I mean, these guys got too much to lose. I mean, why is a guy gonna take a dive for a few extra million when he could earn that over a number of years getting his brain turned to pulp? Be serious for a minute. The clock is counting down again. Beers and get ready to riot. This has been the tight end zone. And this is WCTR, proving that radio is better than TV. That's the show men with large guts love. The news and all the other things that really matter to you. Like people dying. Fire. Bodies everywhere. And explosions. Is hanging from the tree. This accident is really cool. WCTR. The sun, giver of all life. The Mayans worship the sun. Then they disappeared without a trace. Don't let this happen to you. The fact is, if you spend time in the sun, you're almost certain to die. All leading medical practitioners have determined sun exposure causes cancer and heartburn. I'm an expert. Going in the sun is as dangerous as smoking or living too near a nuclear power station. Oh, no, not Tebow again. No, never again with Tropicarsinoma. Without the sun's dangerous rays with Tropicarsinoma, it's a unique blend of coconut oil, zinc, aluminum, boron, magnesium, and other volatile metals to neutralize the sun's rays and form a chemical shield. It's just great for the skin and the IQ. Tropicarsinoma. A lifeguard, I love Tropicarsinoma. I even cool my eyeballs and digestive tract. I'm white as a sheet and shooting blank. I feel great about myself, and that's important. A friend of mine asked me, why spend time in the sun if it's dangerous and you don't want to tan? And I just laugh and try not to think about it. Tropicarsinoma. Give the sun a challenge. Up next, it's Area 53 and Marvin Trill, broadcasting live from his trailer in the desert. A new planet found in space. Is it really a planet or a decoy put up to confuse us? Ghosts, time travel, and the flushing toilet. Which way did Newton's toilet spiral? And finally, are women made from sand? and get to the truth. I'm Marvin Trill. This is Area 53. Hello, you're on the line. Yeah, hi. I'm a truck driver and listen to your show all the time. I see a lot of unexplained phenomena out there. Remember, the Russians, our arch enemy still, I might add, them and the Australians and the Shooting into space are hot dogs and monkeys. Kind of a Noah's Ark fast food kind of vibe. 
Hey, my dad on can make a better space station than them. Uh, intriguing. I'd like to meet her. On the conspiracy line, Paula, you're in Area 53. Do not use fluoride. It's evil. It made me kill my doctor. Why would we worry about a chemical that the government puts into the water? Animals can now be trained to fly, including several species of bird. Think about the military applications. Hello, caller. Hi, my name's Emmanuel. I'm really worried about hackers sending a nuclear bomb after me. You know, through the phone. Company. They have your name on the bill. They know your number. How do you feel about that? I knew it. Hello, Julie from Liberty City. You're on the line. A cowboy ghost has been haunting my house. I want you to take off your arms. Stand at the window. Stand there for hours each night. Lured. Who's got a theory for me? Next. Hey, man, for the show. But when are you guys going to start seeing the bigger picture? We're being lied to, man. Guys like you don't help much, you know. You're virtually one of them. Soon you know what I'm talking about. If people could please just attempt to make sense, that's all I'm asking. Last night, as I was laying in my pod meditating, and it occurred to me, why are you even listening to me? Turn off all electrical devices, including your radio. Hector in San Garcia, why are you still listening? Because I was hoping you could explain these noises. What noises? God, not you too. Can it be false? We'll see you next time in Area 53. Be careful out there, wherever you are. That was Area 53. We're sorry. At home, at work, or in rehab, listen to WCTR. I'm hungry for something different. Zebra Bar. Get the fever. It's the candy bar that's fun to try. It's half smooth white milk chocolate, and the other half is deep. I hope I get back the motion. Mouth. Yeah. For whichever side you crave, pick up a zebra bar and let the chocolate melt in your mouth. If you'd love to hear liberals and conservatives lecture, then stay tuned for I Say You Say. The future of America are threatened again. This time we Both Hitler and Mussolini were vegetarian. And we take on the highly charged debate about test tube babies and actually talk to water. I have flashbacks. We go into hysterics in science class. Do you know what it's like growing up in a beaker? That's all today on I Say You Say. We share last names, but that's about it. I'm Peyton, that's my wife Mary, and this is I Say You Say. Where left is right, and right is wrong. Or we're east meets west, and the west always wins. That wall came down, darling. Yes, unfortunately it did. I, I don't know if you saw today's news, so who is in the right in this great dialectical disaster? Is it, as I think, in the case of Cher and Cher Life, a girl from a man and all wear matching jumpsuits while working on the court hydroponic farm? Ah. Die, or let us decide for you. Give us a call and let my wife, a professor in social Darwinism, or me, a lecturer in pointless anthropology, work things out. That's the problem with liberals. They don't know when to shut up and enjoy freedom. Let's go to the phone. Uh, yeah, hi. Here's the deal. I'm really funny. Nobody wants to hire somebody funny. I mean, how is that fair? I mean, I'm white. to my husband? <laughs> uh, uh, I don't think so. I hope not. Have you got a question about politics? Yeah, sure. I know a lot about politics. Hey, can I do your job? You know, I used to be on the radio back in the day. Even my husband can't do his job, you strange, pathetic little sap. Let's have a real caller, please. Hi, my name is Michelle. I'm a first-time caller to the show. I wanted to know what you guys thought about the proposition to ban smoking. Well, this is a simple issue. Smoking. Democracy at work again in our state. Seems like a good thing when you first look at it. Democracy only works when you agree with it. Then it's best to favor a totalitarian state. I'm not sure about this. Two. Thanks, Michelle. I also wanted to say hi to my stepbrother, Phil. He's been undergoing a hair transplant today. Hey, Phil, if you're listening, I hope it's six this time. 
I won't tell anyone you've got plugs, honey. I'm really proud of you. That's great, honey. But if you want shout-outs, call the rap station. That's offensive. And I'm really offended by what you're saying. You want me? Come get me. But remember, I found your father home to my home. Relaxed up at the stressful stints of genocide and witch burning. And you're so against raising taxes, smokers pay more taxes than anyone. My grandfather smoked his whole life. <laughs> he lived until he was 32. So what I'm saying is, why can't we encourage more smoking and use the money to pay for better health care and some... Academic career. And this woolly thinking is going to ruin your chances of getting anywhere with me. The thing is, smoking is good because it lets people make a lot of money. But so is selectively culling the population. So what I'm change of the proposition. Let people smoke, but make cigarettes much cheaper and force everyone to smoke. That way we weed out the wheat, make a lot of money in tax, and keep our national heritage intact. Line two, you're on I Say, You Say. Ha! Ah, I listen every time to your show. It really made me think about the world in a whole new way. I moved out of the city because it sucks. Now I live in a compound.